Hello, my brothers and sisters. Um, this is Brother Wes. Um, I had something I wanted to tell you. I had something I wanted to speak to you. I had something I want to say to you. And um, and what I want to do, um, it's very important. It's very important for believers. It's very important for couple couples. It's very important when it comes to agreement, especially especially if you are married uh, or you have a, a connection or agreement or a spiritual agreement. Uh, when it comes to the scripture says that where there's two agree as a touching anything that they ask, it shall be done. And so what that lets me know according to scripture is that when two people are together, there's an agreement and when there's an agreement God sanctions an agreement when there's an agreement concerning his word when there's agreement even the scripture says that how can two people walk together except except they be in agreement if we walking together we got to agree because that's the only way because we if we ain't walking together if we're not agreeing because when you disagree that means that somebody's gonna go another way and somebody's going to go to the other, other direction. But the fact that you're going in the same direction, that means that you're, that you're agreeing. That you're agreeing. Just like, just like in a relationship, in a relationship, even in marriage, for better, for worse, sickness and health. And so in, in marriage, there's going to be a lot of good. There's going to be a lot of bad. But what happens is that both, when they're connected, it's what brings peace. It's what brings understanding. It's what brings a birthing. It's what brings unity, even in disagreement. In disagreement, when there's a disagreement, that disagreement means that I don't agree what you think. I don't, I don't agree with that. And so what happens, you have to come together and reason and talk. And the moment that you come together, reason and talk, then what you disagreed about you will understand why. And then at that point, you work on the disagreement. You work on those things that are rough. The scripture says, strengthen those things that remain, that are ready to die. You work on all those things. You work on all those things. And so it takes all of that. It takes all that. It, it, but it takes unity. It's very important unity. That's why what God told the man and the woman, what I put together, let no man separate. The reason why he said that was because there's power in agreement. There's power in unity. There is power in covenant. There is power in covenant. And because also the scripture says, one can chase a thousand. If it's just one person, that one person can chase a thousand. But if you connect with someone, if you connect with someone, it's going to double. It's going to double. It's going to double. It's going to double. And, and so, and so see, God knows that. And so God knows. And so he's trying to teach us as believers how to agree, how to connect, how to connect. It, it's just like, it's just like if I have a, if I have a, a, a light bulb or a, a lamp that has a light bulb, put, might put a brand new light bulb in it. And I want, might want that light to turn on. I could turn that light. I could do all that. But until I connect the source, it will not come open. God bless you.